Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 20th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we're going to check out an application of the break statement and in the last tutorial we discussed the break statement but I just thought that you know we need to make more sense out of it so that's why we're going to check out another programming example of it. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is have a while loop that doesn't have a condition but just a true expression right. So what happens in such a case is that the while loop keeps on iterating over the uh, you know statements that it has in its body and uh, you know only if you have an if statement in the while loop with a break statement in the body of if that can you know somehow terminate the execution of the loop you know then you can get outside the while loop otherwise you just stay in it right so this is useful in situations wherein you just you know want to force uh, the execution of certain statements and you know you want the user to do something in order to proceed with the program so let me just you know make the program for you so as i said we're not going to have a control variable for the while loop so i'm just going to type in while and then i'll type in true right and i'll put in a colon and on the next line i'll use a print function to display a message to the user on screen and the message is going to be enter a digit right and uh, then on the next line, I'm going to use uh, the input function to store the input that the user provides in a variable called num. And I do that by typing in num and then the assignment operator, the input function with a set of uh, empty parentheses. And then on the next line, I'm going to use the str function to convert the value that's stored in the variable num, which is most likely going to be a single character and you know hopefully a digit to uh, you know its equivalent character form so I'm going to store that value in a variable called var and as I said I'll use a string function to do that so I'll uh, type in str and then within parentheses I'll type in the name of the variable that has my user input which is num right on the next line I'm going to check whether the value the ASCII value of the character that's you know currently stored in the variable var if that value is you know for a digit or not and I can use the ORD function in the Python shell to check the uh, you know uh, ASCII value of uh, the digit 0 and uh, that is 48 and the ASCII value of the digit 9 and that is 57 right so I have my range now so I'm going to use the range function here and I don't think we've used the range function in this course thus far and the range function simply you know gets you a list from a starting number to an ending number or a starting value to an ending value right so uh, I'll type in ORD and then the variable name which is VAR and then the in operator and then the range function and then the lower limit for my range is going to be 48 and the upper limit for my range its uh, value is going to be one more than the you know upper limit for the uh, you know digit 9 which is 57 right so I'm going to type in 58 here wait a second let me get back to my program yeah so I'm going to type in 58 here and this is because when you use the range function then you get all the values from the lower limit till the upper limit right so the upper limit is not included in the you know range set right and uh, then I'll type in a colon here and I'll you know get my break statement and uh, then I'll get outside the body of while have a print statement just to know that I'm outside the body of while and I'll display a message you are very obedient right so the user is going to see this message only if it provides a you know digit input if it provides a number then it's going to see this message if it provides any other character you know whether a lowercase alphabet or an uppercase alphabet or a special character like the dollar symbol or the pound symbol or the ampersand symbol anything on the keyboard apart from a number will not lead to the you know uh, display of this message and uh, you know the loop will keep iterating and the loop will keep asking the user to type in a digit till it gets it right so I'll save this program and I'll run it and uh, in the shell I see the message enter a digit so let me first play with the program a bit so when I provide a character input like you know when I type in L and press the enter key I see the message enter digit again right so I hope now the while true is making some sense because you know we are iterating over and over and over so I type another uh, alphabet capital R again I see the message enter digit I'll type in uh, the pound symbol enter digit percentage symbol enter digit 
I can keep on doing like this. When I press a digit, like aid and press the enter key, I see the message you are very obedient, right? So this is because we provided a digit as the input, the number eight got stored in the variable num, it was converted to the character eight using the str function, that result was stored in the var variable and then the ASCII value of the number eight was uh, checked if it was in the range 48 to 58 and that it was. So we broke outside the while loop, we broke out of it and then we executed this print statement, you're very obedient, right? So I hope now, you know, all these things make sense, you know, the while true construct and then the range function as well as, you know, the break. I hope that, you know, you guys are more clear with the, the application of the statement. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting for sure. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.